Wells Fargo laying off hundreds of mortgage bankers this week as part of its strategic shift. According to a new CNBC.com article, the cuts include some top performers who were recently rewarded with a California retreat. Hugh Sun uh, wrote the story. He joins us now with all the details. Hugh, great to have you with us. Um, sending a bunch of people you're going to fire to a retreat in California, does that speak to the suddenness of these layoffs? Or was it just sort of like a nice bon voyage gift? <laughs> Hey, uh, good morning, Melissa. It's great to be with you. Uh, it wasn't a, a bond voyage gift. Uh, I'm sure that if you were, um, a, you know, a top mortgage banker, banker in Wells Fargo's organization, uh, coming off a great year, uh, in some cases, uh, you know, people who were let go had closed more than $100 million in loans last year, which is huge considering how slow the market was in 2022. Uh, if you went to this event, I'm sure you thought you were having a fantastic year. You, you, you show up there. For recognition, this was in uh, Palm Spr Palm Desert, which is close to Palm Springs. It's a uh, you know a California resort. Uh, and what happened? What ended up happening is uh, you go home and you discover that you're essentially no longer part of the organization. You're being let go because Charlie Sharf, CEO Charlie Sharf, is very serious about retrenching from the mortgage market. Now, this is part of a strategic shift that was unveiled. What it was the end of last year or so. But I'm wondering. How strategic is this, and how much is it just a retrenchment of business? It's a it's a Wells Fargo problem, and they needed to cut back. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, a sign that they have finally decided to step back in a serious way from the mortgage business. Uh, I mean, and what what that what what tells you that is, you know, they're cutting close to the bone here. These are not people who you would normally think of being let go in a down cycle. You know, these are some of their top performers. So. Uh, I, I would say, you know, the fact that they are cutting back from areas in which they don't have a bank branch presence, I think that's the major takeaway here uh, from the people who have reached out to me, the people who have been let go is, uh, you know, I've gotten emails from Wells Fargo mortgage bankers who lament that uh, if they'd been located 30 miles to the east or 25 miles to the south, closer to a, a major city, they would still have a job today. Uh, and yet these are people who've done very well, that, you know, that they're likely to do well in another situation. I'm sure that if they can move to a Chase or to a First Republic, uh, they can up and take their contacts, their network, uh, and transfer pretty easily to another place. This really shows that, you know, the CEO Charlie Scharf, uh, you know, wasn't uh, wasn't making a cosmetic shift when we announced uh, when he announced last month that they're stepping back from the mortgage market. That this is something that is uh, going to be a lasting shift and, and probably a call on their part that the mortgage market isn't really coming back anytime right. soon.